What is going on guys and welcome to another video. We're on my command block world and I'm going to show you guys a pretty awesome boss battle command. Now this is pretty sick guys. Um, it is. It should be multiplayer friendly. Uh, I had you know, a friend join and uh, it, it seemed to work fine. Uh, if not, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll work more on this. I'm still working on it but I wanted to show you guys the proof of concept. Now, uh, first off you guys as you can see I'm in survival so if I take an armor stand anywhere in the game as long as there's a diamond block and four gold blocks around it I could place the armor stand and uh, you guys could change the name tag I'll show you the commands in a minute but if I if I put this name tag and I name him boss he will be summoned and oh my god he, he does summon arrows at the player and he does attack and he is pretty strong and it does take a while to kill him uh, I am wearing all diamond and I do have a diamond sword and as you guys can see he is pretty pretty powerful uh, you guys can change his effects and everything if you guys want um, and he is completely summonable anywhere in the game so if you guys you don't have to summon him exactly in this spot I actually have another diamond block and I'm going to summon him right here um, it could be anywhere in the game as long as there is a diamond block and four gold blocks around him you guys could throw in an armor stand and summon him again like so and that is pretty much how you guys do that. Oh my god, he's so powerful. <laughs> There's so many arrows getting summoned. I guess that's a good thing about this uh, mob. You guys can pick up all the arrows and stuff, and then you could use them. Uh, but yeah, you guys could summon it. You do have to build this to summon him and stuff. Uh, so let, let me show you guys the commands. Game mode. See, uh, this is the command right here. Let me get rid of this and this and this. Uh, so the first command will be execute at e name equals boss and then squigglers detect uh for a negative one diamond block zero kill at e type equals zombie so basically what this command is doing guys if you don't know is it's going to look for a entity named boss that's an armor stand an armor stand is an entity and it's going to detect if a diamond block is underneath it which is the negative one and if so it's going to kill all the zombies in the area like um so that way not all the zombies will get these powerful boosts and you have like 20 bosses that you gotta fight. Uh, so basically it'll kill all the zombies within your radius of the player. Uh, and then after that happens it will detect uh, if there is a diamond block below an entity named boss. Below its feet a diamond block and it will say boss battle. So that's whenever you place an armor stand and you do it like that it will say boss battle because there was an entity named boss and it killed all the zombies around and then it summoned and did the execute for the boss battle little title there uh, after that it's going to look for a name equals boss detect negative one negative one uh, gold block zero summon a zombie so if there's a gold block you kind of don't really have to have this right here guys uh, that could be completely fine. It's just basically detecting this one. But if you wanted to add in the other three commands to the exact same one, this one right here, and change these two coordinates or these three coordinates to uh, here, here, and here, it will work. See if you do this, uh, it still will work and stuff. But it's still better if you just do that and tell people that or whatever. Uh, but I was just lazy and I knew it would work. But if you do delete the gold blocks, guys, and you try and do it, it will not work. So it's completely, like I said, it is it is pretty cool. And you do need to build like a certain little kind of thingamajig. Uh, but yeah, if you guys just do that right there, it will work. But I don't know. I thought it would be cool if uh, you just placed uh, like gold blocks like that. You guys can, like I said, just add two more of this exact same command just like right here before all of these. Uh, so getting into the fourth one, it's going to kill at E name equals a boss. Uh, so right there it's going to kill him. Remember this needs to be changed. Unconditional, always active. Make sure you guys go back and pause the video on all these. They need to be exactly how they are otherwise they won't work. Uh, so this, uh, after the first chain they're all, I think they're all going to be conditional if I'm right. Yeah, they're all, all going to be conditional except for the very last one. Uh, chain conditional and always active. Okay, so after you kill the name boss, it's gonna replace entity at a zombie slot armor chest leather. Oh, uh, you can change that to like diamond, gold, whatever it is that you guys want. Like I said, it's customizable, completely customizable for whatever kind of the boss you want. Uh, and then the next one after that will be the replace entity zombie slot, and then it's gonna be an iron hoe. The reason I was doing that was because I wanted it to give like a cool little reaper effect. Uh, so you guys could see he's kind of like a reaper. He's pretty cool. Um, and then this one is the, this is the Iron Hope, this one is the slot head, uh, one skull, one three, and that is the skull for the human. So as you guys can see, there is a, he's got a human skull, 
and then over here is the um, effect at E zombie type equals invisibility 100 one false uh, so that way it gives the particle effects and he's invisible for 100 seconds it shouldn't take you longer than that to kill him so it should be okay uh, and then after that it's going to do strength 100 seconds level 3 so he is pretty strong and then this one is going to be summon a firework and wh why is that because whenever if you guys look it's actually so fast you can't see it but the firework is summoned over there but it's teleported to the zombie right here which gives uh, the cool effect of like you're summoning a mob and stuff um, and then that's the summon firework and then this one's the yeah and this one's just teleporting the entity firework at the zombie uh, which is what you saw at the very beginning that's how fast this is going and then this one's going to be the effect health boost 100 seconds of four level four which is pretty much giving him a high health boost and then of course you're going to need to do this guys that will heal the zombie because he's an undead which is instant damage which is like a harming potion of 5-2 which will heal him I'm, I'm pretty sure it heal him it, it shows it that it's healing him because he is like a lot powerful whenever I didn't add this command so it should work um, basically whenever you give the zombie health boost there he's not regenerating the potion the, the health boost he's not regenerating all the hearts so whenever you add this potion effect here uh, it will heal those hearts because he is an, an, an undead so it takes longer to kill him um, and then this one is execute at E type equals zombie execute at all players within a radius of five with the radius minimum of four uh, will summon an arrow uh, one block above their head so basically anyone within a zombies range will execute of a five block radius but not a four block radius um, will summon an arrow above their head and that was the effect that whenever I was um, like, let me show you guys so if I summon him and then I go in F5 mode and I go into five 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 blocks there it goes you can see that the arrows somewhat are summoning above my head like around me right like so but if I'm close to him it won't work and if I'm further away it won't do it so it's got to be exactly at five which is pretty rare but still it is pretty cool and that's the command right there for all of it um, which is not bad I mean it's a pretty cool command you guys could do that but I do not recommend do not do summon zombie do not do summon any kind of entity because it will crash your game just do arrow or something that's not gonna keep spawning because there it does spawn a lot of them uh, so just kind of be careful with that last command and it is unconditional like I was saying uh, these are all conditional and always active that one's uh, unconditional and this one's unconditional uh, but that is how you guys do the zombie boss like here like I said you guys could change it it is multiplayer friendly it should be um, and you guys can build it anywhere so it doesn't matter where I could just build it right here um, as long as there's gold blocks around them technically just that one but you guys can add the commands I just didn't add it but you guys can do it and then it will summon a zombie a boss and that is pretty much it so I'll see you guys in the next video Bye.